uh, in this force excitation contraction coupling which refers to a sequence of events by which an action potential in the plasma membrane or a muscle fiber lead to the cross bridge activity in this uh, graph the action potential of one to each is recorded the resting potential of the membrane is about minus 90 uh, an action potential in a skeletal fiber changes the membrane potential up to 30 and uh, it lasts about one or two milliseconds uh, this electrical activity is completed before any sign of mechanical activity started the mechanical activity following the action potential uh, it may last about 100 millisecond or more between the start uh, action potential and the start of uh, tension there is an interval of a few millisecond uh, known as the latent period uh, during this latent period, the process associated with excitation, contraction, coupling are happening. Uh, the mechanical response of single muscle fiber to a single action potential is known as a twitch. Uh, the time interval that uh, beginning of the tension and the peak of the tension, uh, there is, uh, we call it a contraction time. Uh, let's put these two parameters uh, together. Uh, not all the skeletal muscle fibers have the same twitch uh, uh, contraction time. Some fast fibers have uh, contraction time as short as 10 milliseconds, uh, while a slower fiber may take 100 milliseconds or longer. The total duration of contraction depends in part on the time that the cytosolic calcium remains elevated so the cross bridge can continue to cycle. And this is closely related to the calcium ATPase activity in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So the activity is greater in fast twitch fiber and less in slow twitch fiber. Okay, let's put this together and see what other criteria is important. One, another more important criterion for classifying the type of muscle fiber is how the fiber produced the ATP. Is it oxidative or it's glycolytic? Uh, oxidative fiber in general has uh, numerous mitochondria, high capacity of oxidative phosphorylation, very vascular with large amount of uh, myoglobin which uh, uh, give them a red color uh, on the opposite uh, glycolytic uh, fiber has a few mitochondria a high concentration of uh, glycolytic enzyme and glycogen few blood vessels and a small amount of uh, myoglobin which give them a uh, pink color they have a larger diameter compared to the oxidative type uh, a slow oxidative or type 1 fiber contract relatively slowly and use aerobic respiration means oxygen and glucose to produce ATP fast uh, oxidative or type 2a fibers have fast contraction and primarily use aerobic uh, respiration uh, that's because they may switch to anaerobic re respiration or glycolysis. Uh, they can fatigue more quickly than a slow oxidative fibers here. Uh, finally, the fast uh, glycolytic fibers, also known as type 2 or type 2X, uh, type 2B or type 2X, uh, they have fast uh, contraction and primarily use the aerobic. Uh, glycolysis there is uh, no fiber by the way as a slow glycolytic uh, the fast glycolytic fibers as said they fatigue more quickly than the others and the less uh, it's the most slow uh, the slowest one is the type 1 or slow oxidative fiber uh, when 
most skeletal muscles in a human contains all three types of uh, fibers in varying proportions. Uh, these slides shows two different type of staining method. One to show the mitochondria uh, and one uh, to show the capillaries here. As you see, the oxidative fibers contain many more mitochondria than the glycolytic fibers because of the aerobic metabolism in mitochondria, as we said. But they have a relatively small diameter and uh, do not produce large amount of tension. Uh, the slow oxidative fibers also process uh, myoglobin and O2 carrying uh, molecules, so oxygen carrying molecule, uh, similar to oxygen carrying uh, hemoglobin in the red blood cells. Uh, the myoglobin uh, stores uh, some of the uh, needed oxygen within the fibers themselves and give uh, these slow oxidative fibers the red color. This is the reason. And also the uh, very vascularity of those uh, around those cells, they supply the oxygen to them that they need uh, for the uh, function. The fact that the slow oxidative fibers can function for longer period without fatiguing uh, makes them useful in the maintaining posture, producing isometric uh, contraction, stabilizing bone and joints, and making uh, small movements that happen often but uh, do not require large amount of energy. They do not produce high tension and thus uh, they are not used for powerful, fast moving that require high, high amount of energy and uh, rapid cross-breed cycling. 